so I like this. You ever go down to the basketball courts in Venice and do a little pickup game? Probably see some of your guys there, you jump in, get it going. So, same principle here. We show up, and then we got this monster of a human, AKA Douglas, AKA in the movie Divinity with me, coming in. But what he did was, he didn't say, hey, can I work in? Hey, you guys using this? What he did was, he stepped up, took the weight off and started warming up without asking. I like that, I like that. Little intensity, a little nastiness. That's how I kind of like this stuff, man. It's that old school mentality like, let's get into this workout. Oh my, oh yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Claws will kill you. between that and a, and a normal incline dumbbell press. Did you guys see this bar? Um, for me, it's, it's just really teaching the body again how to focus the muscle on the uh, push relative to just momentum. That's the biggest change. Okay. You go up as heavy as you can with that five rep mentality, right? So it's complete power for as many reps you guys saw. I got like, what, two and 25% of one at the four plates. So now we're gonna come down to 315 and your whole objective is to make sure this is the perfect set of five. Executed correctly, squeezed correctly, with no real lapses in your mental connection. Let's see if I can put my money where my mouth is. Five perfect reps. Let's go, stud. Go, Doug. Five perfect reps. Come on. 
go, let's go. Up. Oh. The chest, the volume, the volume on the upper the chest. Yeah, the set. Yeah. The, the, Going to the, the volume, the, the This is not a spot exercise for me. Huh? This is not a spot exercise. No, for me. it's not. I, the only reason is because it's, it's such a controlled exercise. It doesn't need to be the weight where you're right, forcing struggling it. that much. It's, it's not that. It's just a controlled weight. So we're basically doing a compound movement as an isolation, and you wouldn't spot on an isolation. I totally agree. I totally agree. This is one of the reasons why I totally agree with what Mike's saying in regards to this exercise using the Titan bar. This is not an exercise that you want to be spotted at. It's not an exercise where you get stuck and you want to be spotted at. I'm going to drop down the weight for that particular reason. Um, so, so I'm going to drop down to uh, two and a half plates for that particular reason because I just want to feel the actual rep. So going for six good reps at a lower weight would be more effective than me going for three reps at a heavier weight. So I totally agree with what you're saying. This is not a spot exercise. But that's outside of trying to get nasty, right? But yeah, so you know, that being said, we got Doug here that comes in for a, you know, a tussle, and so we go to that level. I'm just saying... Not everything we do yeah. is by the books. And so I'm just saying, for you guys at home, if you get the bar, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Let us do it. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, Doug, this is an exercise where I believe that this is not an exercise you want to be spotted doing. This is an exercise that you want to control the movement as you go down. So if you need a spot on this particular exercise, I need you to give me a lift off because of the close yeah. grip press when you lift off. But then once you give me a lift off, I don't want you touching the bar. Got it. Because this is an exercise where you really want to try and make sure it's almost like an isolation movement. It's still a compound movement exercise, but you don't you want to spot someone in an isolation movement exercise, would you? So you might spot them in a barbell curl, but for me I think you want to be able to control the movement through the range of movement, through the range of movement you want to go. So you want to really control that eccentric load of the muscle fiber. I love the way you stop and pause at the bottom, that isometric contraction before you push away yeah. for that concentric contraction, which is yeah. fantastic. But for me, I think this is not an exercise you want to be spotted at. Lift off, yeah, stay with someone Absolutely. just in case, but again, I'm going to go for five good reps. You got it. Well, come on. compound exercise and then I'm gonna come back down and kind of take a page out of Wally's book and see how many absolutely perfect and controlled reps I can get this is gonna force you to stabilize even more than to press so it's just a little change yeah. in, in activation you know it's just it's really good to uh, to mix up those stimulations and, and a lot of times guys like us we train by feel so right. if you hit a good set and it feels good but you know that's your limit you know you're not gonna go any heavier you're gonna have to make the decision about what you're gonna get more out of and I think a set of 10 to 12 here is gonna give you more than a sloppy set at 315. I totally agree with what Doug's saying as you can see guys we're, we're in the gym having fun we're challenging each other and there's a lot of testosterone kicking about so it's very difficult I think when you're in a gym you're training in a group or you're training with your training partner um, it's nice to have a healthy challenge, but realistically as well, you've got to pull back sometimes when you know you're not getting the most out of the exercise. And that's when knowledge and experience comes in. Absolutely. When you know when it's time to pull back to actually get more out of the exercise that you're performing, rather than just going through the exercise for the sake of going through it. Yeah. So knowledge and experience comes in and tells you to pull back. Be like, you know what? 
challenging you, but I'm gonna pull back a little bit because I wanna get more out of this to develop my upper chest. Well, and, and, and you know, there's still gonna be good competition here because I guarantee you, whatever number I get, Wally's gonna lay down and he's gonna have that number in his mind. Of course. Even if it's just two plates. <laughs> but that's that's just how that's how competition goes. And that keeps everybody getting better. Yeah. Chest. Get the most out of the workout. <laughs>